Well, the U.S. Chemical Safety Board released a final report today de detailing the 2022 fire and explosion that killed two brothers at the former BP Husky refinery in Oregon. Yeah, the board is quoted as saying nearly everything that could go wrong did go wrong in this scenario. But tonight we're getting new insight into what was happening in the minutes prior to the explosion. Steve Iwanek, he joins us now to do just that, to kind of talk us through and walk us through exactly what you've learned, Steve. Yeah, so Jeff Kelly, there's plenty to unpack here, so let's talk about it. As we are approaching two years since the Morrissey brothers died in a refinery fire in Oregon. There have been vigils and fundraisers for the family. And now, looking to close the book on this tragedy, we've learned what happened leading up to it. September 20th, 2022, 6.50 a.m. The first of 3,712 alarms sound. More to follow over the next 12 hours. Some minor, others more serious. But according to the Chemical Safety Board, each contributing to delays and errors in response and mitigation of the overflow of naphtha into the fuel gas system. The final report now released nearly two years later, found that problems began with water building in critical gas drums. 7.13 to 7.28 a.m. Water begins leaking into naphtha preheat drums, causing emergency pressure valves to open. Naphtha is a flammable liquid, according to the report. These, the CSB says, were the early signs of a major problem. Inspectors found, quote, the refinery did not have sufficient safeguards to prevent the initiating event. 8.12 a.m., outside refinery operators report a valve break, causing a significant loss of containment. From here, workers begin to close off valves to critical gas plants and storage drums. Later in the day, a shift change happens between 4.14 and 4.49 p.m. Ben and Max Morrissey now are working as outside operators. Board operators call for them to drain naphtha from a pressurized container, meant only to carry vapor, now filling with a flammable combination. More alarms sound. Pressure levels fluctuate, despite efforts to drain the fluid. 6.16 p.m. A board operator calls over the radio, quote, check ASAP, the levels inside the fuel gas mix drum. The brothers move to that spot just a minute later and open the valve to release the naphtha. Minutes pass. Board operators direct them to, quote, just drain it as fast as you guys can. 6.45 p.m. A strong smell. Vapor seen coming out of the drum. As seconds pass, the investigation shows more and more alarms. The report calling it a, quote, a series of cascading and worsening events. All leading to 6.46 p.m. The fire. Now, the family released a statement tonight reading, quote, I am saddened that this workplace incident could have been completely avoided if BP would have followed safety protocols and made sure their employees were coming into a safe work environment. We miss Ben and Max so much. My son is so curious about his daddy, and my daughter will never know who her daddy really was from stories we share, end quote. We also reached out to the union, United Steel Workers, for comment, and the union was not ready to comment at this time. You can read the CSB's full report right now on our WTOL 11 website. Reporting in studio, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11.